Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering why haven't I been streaming? For those who haven't, who are not on the uh, members Discord, um, so my daughter has gotten sick, and she we we just recently found out two days ago now that it was COVID that she had. Um, we assumed she was sick because I mean, re like a probably like a regular cold. Um, because she usually does get sick around June, I mean, June, January, uh, we're, we're used to it, right? We weren't expecting to find out that it was COVID. It's, uh, that was, that was a very big surprise. Um, so she, she's doing all right. Uh, the only problem we have right now is one, she's, her appetite, she doesn't really have a big appetite. Uh, she is drinking fluids, which is a great thing, uh, but she's not uh, her normal self trying to eat food and, and snack almost every, like, hour or so. Um, and also one of the biggest concerns is she's not urinating. Like, she went, she's actually, technically right now, she's over 24 hours without um, urinating at all. So that's very concerning. So, by the way, uh, she is in the hospital right now. She's actually staying at a children's clinic or hospital, whatever. Anyways, for children, you know? Um, and she's she's doing all right. They're just doing some tests. Um, we're thinking that because it's COVID, it probably mess with their system a little bit, as it does to a lot of people. And hopefully it kind of goes away. We're trying to, we're, they're trying to figure out what's exactly causing this. It's not a urinary tract infection. They already tested for that. Uh, that has nothing to do with it. Um, we actually, like, because she wasn't peeing, we are like, oh, man, she has to have a tract infection. There's, what else can it be? But apparently it's not that, so we don't know what it is, really. Um, and we tried plenty methods of, at home, to try to get her to urinate. Uh, sitting her on the potty, um, giving her a bath, playing with water, you know? Um, none of it seemed to, uh, spark even a little bit, you know? Um... But she she she, had, she does have the runs as well, and and she does have those regular bowel movements. But fortunately, it's not it's it's not hundred percent. We still not urinating. Um, so I'm at home uh, because they went to the hospital uh, three o'clock in the morning, and I was beat. So I told them that I had some stuff to do because uh, it's the first month, and you know bills gotta get paid. So I have to do some running around, pay some bills and stuff like that, just to make sure things are good, you know, with the house. Um, and then I'm gonna be going back to the hospital to spend more time. Well, probably the rest of the time she's there with her. Um, apparently, and it makes me sad. She was asking for me uh, this morning, and uh, man, that sucks. You know that I'm not there, but yeah, everything is good. Uh, Mrs. Boss is starting to get sick a little bit. Um, I hope that she's gonna be good. She doesn't seem bad. She, just like stuffy nose and a cough. Um, some mild sy symptoms there of, of being sick. Uh, also, we were outside in the cold, like, and she was shivering. Oof, yeah. Oh man, I got a funny story though. You guys might laugh at this. It's because this whole situation. I mean, it's scary for me. It's scary for Mrs. Boss because we were just worried about Eva, right? We're still kind of worried about her, but she. She is doing well, you know, she's getting better, she, she's, yeah, she's doing better, like, just not 100% yet, you know, we're getting there, um, but funny thing, so they had to, uh, put an IV in her last night, while we're in the hospital, right, so they had to draw some blood, and they wanted to also give her some fluids, because they wanted to, like, really try to get her to pee on her own, um, so, me forgetting, in a way, because I was so not, I wasn't thinking about it. So, I'm a little weird, I guess you can say squeamish, with blood, actual blood, like real blood. Obviously, like, movies and, and fake blood, blah, blah, blah. But I, there's something specific about the blood. <laughs> so, like, they're putting the IV in, and I was holding her down, you know, trying to relax her. And, like, I wasn't even thinking about anything or nothing like that. I was doing good. They stuck her. They the vein moved out of the way and disappeared. They couldn't get the vein. Uh, they were there for a bit trying, you know, trying to find the vein, but nothing. So they had to try her, her hand. There was a good vein there. Same scenario. They thought they got it. They didn't, right? 
They were able to draw a little bit of blood out of it, though. They were able to get a bit of blood. Now, <laughs> I was fine the entire time until the last second where they uh, were about to pull out the, I, the the little bit of blood they, were, they had. I, I was like, whoa, whoa. I started feeling weird, right? Like I was going to. Like, I was trying to, whoa, get a little squeamish. I told Mrs. Boss to take over. I went and sat down. And uh, I was just trying to relax. And, oh, my God. And then I decide, uh, I, I, look over, I look over to see how my daughter's doing. You know, she's obviously, like, fighting and stuff like that because they're trying to put an IV into the other side. And I happened to glance at the vials of her blood. And, oh, boy, as soon as I did that, like, I started, like, Oh man, my I, my vision went dark. Like I almost couldn't see anything. Um, uh, I so I almost fainted. But luckily I didn't. But it was so embarrassing because I I gave Mrs. Boss a little mini heart attack there. She she got nervous because she thought I was gonna fall to the ground. Um, and I was just like, no, I don't need Mrs. Boss to worry about me. I'm fine. She needs to worry about Eva and herself. You know. I'm fine, um, but it was super embarrassing because like I I knew that I was squeamish. It just at the time as being a parent, I wasn't even thinking about it. I just it just happened. Um, but yeah, uh, so everything is all right, guys. It's just need more time, you know. Sadly, I'm just I'm just hoping that you know everything will be good with Eva. As long as everything's good with Eva, you know I'll start my streams again and stuff like that. Sorry, I really like you know Pokemon came out and I've been playing it. I haven't continued the story though. I literally left it where I was last at, but um, I've been playing it. I'm 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 a, f a fourth star now, and literally just been running around finding Pokemon, catching Pokemon, um, catching those Alpha Pokemon, which are a pain in my arse. But I think I got most of them in the first area. I think. I don't know how many there really are. Man, you guys can see my posters. I got Mortal Kombat 10 poster. This is a Hellboy from like the last Hellboy movie. Then over here, this is uh, Fantastic Four. And then there's a Superman. There's Superman in with the Fantastic Four. Like you can see Human Torch, The Thing, uh, Invisible Woman, and I Am Blind. Oh, yeah. Uh, Mr. Fantastic is right there. Yep, yep, and then Galactus, big head right in the background. But yeah, yeah, that's pretty dope. And we got, bam, the homie Big Boss. This is the Metal Gear Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes poster. And then over here we got a Mortal Kombat Nine poster, or just Mortal Kombat. And then we got a Hogwarts poster for Mrs. Boss, and a Fortnite poster for Mrs. Boss. And then Eva's room, she's got a Pokemon poster and some. Uh... What am I thinking? Some, um, oh my god, Mario stickers on the wall. Oh, and then we also have, like, right above here, we have, um, uh, Bishop and Batwoman posters. Yeah, we like, we kind of like our posters here in this house. <laughs> um, alrighty. But yeah, that's basically it, guys. Um, thanks for watching this little update. I apologize, uh, again. Uh, but you guys, you know, you guys understand, you know, family. Family. Alrighty, you guys take care. I'm going to have to uh, go do some things, and I will hopefully see you guys soon. So, take care, ciao, and as always, keep on keeping on.